I'm Dr. Lori. I'm outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania at the Goodwill. You're going to thrift with me. It's real bargains on the road. Good dog. You're going to show me around? <laughs> Come on. I wouldn't leave those. <laughs> yeah, they're dated, sure, but I wouldn't leave those. Those are really nicely done. Um, you can put them in a guest room. They can do a lot. Uh, the embroidery is nice. The interior is nice. They don't look like they're burned. They don't look like they're stained. Yeah, I like those. Okay. So condition, of course, first. Structures first. You want to look for if they're any, if they're good. Now, top of this looks good. However, the second one doesn't look as good. You can see this part is starting to come away. So you've got to look at those kinds of details. Now, for the price, I probably would still get two. Um, if it were, you know, if it were me, let's see what they are. There are they, they're four ninety nine each. So I definitely four ninety nine each. I would definitely pick up both of these. Um, this one, I think you could with, you know, a little bit of patience. You can probably repair that. But I would say that these are easily, easily thirty five dollars each. So yeah, that's somewhat of a good bargain at five bucks to make thirty five. That's not bad. And each, that's nice. All right, let's see what else we got. So lots of holiday stuff, which is great. Um, you want to look for if there's a set, something new in a box, something that looks quite new. Um, but most of the stuff is new. But, but you also want to think about those things that can be collectible. So new stuff like, for example, this um, is $6.99 for the double plate. It's an elements plate. It's a cake plate. But it even has the cute little, you know, um, spatula, you know, the cake server. It's elements, which is new, but again, it's a nice, um, it's a nice piece, and it looks like it just came right out of the box. Doesn't look like it's even been touched. So that I think for six ninety nine is really pretty good. You can definitely get thirty, forty bucks out of that. That especially at holiday time, know when to sell it. And then something like this, I would say no, but don't let this fool you because this piece is just a giveaway. You know, it was given away by Smuckers, so just an advertising thing. But I would say this piece, uh, comp to compare it, if you look a little farther, here's a Norman Rockwell one, which are the collectible ones. And these are made by Knowles, pretty representational. And Knowles, of course, is known for this. It's only $4.99. I'd probably see if you can't get it on, uh, you know, uh, a coupon day or something like that. Always see if you can get it cheaper if you're buying a lot of stuff, but that's different than this. So this, I would leave. I wouldn't get this. This, I would definitely take. So there you go. I'm gonna leave that on the shelf. I'm gonna take this. <laughs> music box. So, you know, you wanna check to see if the music box works. Why did I come over to it? Because of the gilding and also because of the decorative elements of the, of the actual piece. So you can see that the mold work is done. I like when the mold is molded on the back and the front. I like that too. Now, this is $6.99. Uh, this particular piece, I would say, you're probably looking to get about 20 bucks out of this if you're gonna resell it, but it's a nice holiday thing. So, should we look at lamps? Let's look at lamps. Well, we got the shades, might as well look at lamps. <laughs> So lamps, uh, a, a couple of things. First of all, see if you hit the treasure trove, which is, can you find a pair? So there are a lot of pairs here. Here's a pair, and then there's this, this mate is down the other, a little bit farther down. So you're gonna have to, you know, again, look around. Um, the other thing about it is, you know, these are nice, these crystal accents. So getting the pair is gonna be, is gonna be important. Um, well, they're the best, but they don't look like they're in bad shape. Um, the pink ones are pretty dated, even though they're a pair. They're an obvious pair, and they're pretty dated. Um, and then you've got this pair. So, and I know, no one's like me. I know I'm a little anal, and I like things to be in sets and together, and it's easier. So I'll make it easier for everybody else, but here's a pair. <laughs> so I just found three pairs, but they were scattered. So here's a pair, here's a pair, there's a pair. So look for the pairs, this is the point. Um, treasure trove of the 1960s lamps, we've got some sort of sports themed lamps. So people like those. So there's the baseball lamp, and the little kid's lamp. And let's look at the little kid's lamp here. Because, you know, this one seems like it's, 
Now it's $7.99, so because it's in good shape, it has the same um, matching, has the same matching um, lampshade. The so $7.99 is a little high, but not bad. I would say this is a nice one, and it does have the auto switch, which I like, um, so they can get it. The other one, so I would say that's a good one for people who are going to resell. This one, I like. Probably because I like baseball. So this one's a sports themed lamp. A little hard to do this. That's a sports themed lamp with the sports themed um, shade. But the shade's not in great shape. So that's a little bit of a problem too. So I like the base. I like the base, but I'm not crazy about I'm not crazy about the shade itself. So there's that. I'd probably leave that one there. Because really the shade makes it and it's not in great shape. So that's gonna be more trouble than it's worth. Um, and also say this one I would definitely take. This one is nice, strong, heavy. I would definitely take that, look at that one. And this one is going nowhere else. This is a nice piece too. So that one's a really nice piece. This dates from the 1960s. And um, that one is a typical good quality stiffle. So you know the brand names. That's a really nice lamp. And some of the things that you're gonna look for is the price, $4.99, you're definitely taking this because that's a $65 lamp. You wanna look for this cover. You see that cover and also these pierced elements. The pierced elements allow the heat to get out, right? So it would have, of course, a hurricane, a piece of glass, then it would have the globe itself. So that's basically what you're looking at for these. And uh, these piece, this piece is really pretty nice. Solid oak, which is typical of their bases. They're usually a good material, um, solid hardwood. And the plug is gonna help you. I've taught you this about the plugs double prong, not a three prong. That's another thing that you want to look for. I don't like it when this happens, but everybody does it. So you might have to rewire it. What am I talking about? This happens. I don't like it when they, when they of course wrap all the wires. Now they can't have wires hanging everywhere. Okay. But when they wrap all the wires like this, all the little wires inside uh, basically get broken. So it definitely has to be rewired. That will not impact value negatively. Don't worry about that. How about a UV hand sanitizer? Like before a pandemic, did you ever see these? I mean, did you ever see them? I mean, anywhere? And now, of course, here they are at Goodwill because, you now, well, pandemic's over, I guess. <laughs> well, we've come a long way <laughs> from the, the camcorders, right? Remember, my brother-in-law used to get all the pictures of my uh, nieces and nephews with this thing. <laughs> yeah. That's it. We definitely have improved. My phone's better. <laughs> well, it looks like I need another cart because <laughs> we're getting into glass and we all know we love glass. So lightweight Fostoria with the label. So this for $3.99 for two, you're taking these because these are 20 bucks. So very, very nice, good quality, easy to resell if you wanted to and good for you to just have. So these are good. And then these are heavy crystal, nice pieces, um, functional. You can use them all the time. Uh, $2.99 and if you look around because you have to look around the match is right here so there's four um, four of them I don't know if you can see the match I want to be careful with my hands so there's the match also $2.99 probably could get some kind of I'm gonna put them together so I don't forget but I need another cart <laughs> that's the other problem that we got you need more more cart room the cart is that and then these crystal pieces so in the manner of waterford probably also made in england um, but these particular uh, england ireland these particular pieces are really quite nice and then you've got that set and this set and this set and four and another four is eight so for 10 bucks you're looking at 75. so that's pretty good so you know you might see these crystal pieces you know this, the, the ones that are marked like this these are these were given away in banks and stuff in the 1970s a lot of people had these um, if you need cordial, but cordial glasses for the most part, not very popular. Um, I would say if you can get those under a buck, great for, oh, for $6.99, no, I wouldn't, because you can get these cheaper. Now, if they were bigger, I'd say, yeah. Uh, barware's big generally, but those are gonna be uh, not my best pick. Uh, these I don't like at all. They're pretty dated. Um, I don't, those are not good quality either. And then you got the ones that are just basic that everybody's got everywhere. So these should be, you know, a little bit, a little bit cheaper. But the Fostorias I really mm. like. Um, and these etched pieces are nice. There's some nice etched pieces, but it would be great if you could find more of them. And you really do have to look around because while a lot of people are saying, oh, we don't need these, we don't need these. 
um, a lot of people are also, it's kind of like the china. A lot of people are saying, yeah, I may not need them, but I really want them for my china cabinet. They're going to look great. So it's a little bit more about decoration than it is just about actual use and function. So you got to think about that too. So a lot of glass, a lot of glass. Well, I've cleaned out my cart. I put everything back because I don't want to compete with you. I want you to thrift with me and learn as you do. So this goes back to the Norman Rockwell. It was around here near, well, near Santa. 